Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve this nice sixth term of equations? We have x plus y equals 9 and xy equals 18. So let's see how we can solve this. So we consider the solution from here. Then let's say we consider from equation 2. So from this equation 2 we have xy equals 18. Then by this, we know if you have x, y equals, we can consider this as 9 multiplied by 2. But from our equation 1, from equation 1, we have x plus y equals 9. Then in this equation 2, we have 9 here. Let's replace this 9 with x plus y. So by doing that, we have x y equals x plus y multiplied by 2 and by opening this parenthesis here we have x y equals 2 times x that is 2 x plus 2 times y we have 2 y then let's take the whole of this here we have x y minus 2 x minus 2y equals 0. Then let's com combine this together. So by combining this together, we have xy minus 2x. So we put this in brackets. Also, we have this as minus 2y equals 0. So what is common here is x. By factoring out x, we have x into bracket of y minus 2 minus 2y equals 0. So having this, suppose I add 4 and subtract 4 here, we can have this as s into bracket of y minus 2 minus 2y plus 4 minus 4 equals 0. Then we have x into bracket of y minus 2 minus if you combine this and factor out 2 so we have y minus 2 then let's take 4 to other side so by this we have y minus 2 common then we can compare x minus 2 and also multiply it with y minus 2 then everything equals 4 so if everything equals to 4 Let's try and solve this to know the value of x and the value of y. So here we have, suppose our x and y are member of an integer. So positive integer, positive integer. Then we look for the factors of 4 from here. And look for the factors of 4. And uh, say, say we have 4. So this 4 is equivalent to 4 times 1. We can see our 4 as 1 times 1 times 4. And again, we can have 4 as 2 times 2. So these are the only thing we are going to have here. As far as x and y are member of positive integer. So if you are to consider this. If you are to look for the value of x and y here, the answer must not equal to 0. So it means that this last step is very, very wrong. So we cannot consider this last one. So we are only considering this and we will consider this. So if you are to look for this, it shows that our case 1, so x minus 2 here will be equal to 4. And uh, y minus 2 will be equals to 1. So by the first one here, it shows that the value of x here will be equals to 4 plus 2. And this equals 6. Also for the value of y, it will be equals to 1 plus 2, which is equals 3. And also when we consider case 2. For case 2, we are going to have x minus 2 to be equals to 1 and y minus 2 
equals 4. So this shows that the value of x here equals 3 and y equals 6. So this is what we get here. And if we try and substitute this from the given problem, which is x plus y equals 9. And we have x, y equals 18. So from what we get, if x equals to 6 and y equals to 3, so 6 plus 3 here, that is 9. And 6 times 3, that is 18. So this is how to solve these questions. Thanks for watching. And uh, we can still solve this using other methods. I think this is the best method I think you can use to solve this. We can drop another method that you can use to solve this in the comment box. See you in the next class. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.